Well, I think that's what we have to escape. <clears throat> we have to escape a very project-driven uh, notion of development into which we can reduce uh, development uh, into specific kind of uh, low bar, concrete uh, outcomes. And but I don't. But that's I don't think it's impossible at all um, to have broader framing of development objectives and measuring impact on those broader things. So, for instance, take an area where I've been working a lot is education. Now, in the Millennium Development Goals, <clears throat> education was reduced to, I mean, literally the goal or the target that was measured and monitored was universal completion of a full course of primary schooling. And that was it. Now, that isn't the education agenda of any emerging middle-income country. They have to worry about university, they have to worry about research, they have to worry about technical education, they have to worry about high school education, and moreover, even in the primary domain, they have to worry about quality of learning. So the shift from a low bar, you know, quantitative goal like access and enrollment to a broader definition of the education sector doesn't mean you move from measurables to non-measurables, it means you expand the range of what you're measuring. But you can easily say, we're going to have a goal about learning quality, and hence part of the goal of learning quality is we're going to have to define it, measure it, set it up in which it can be a measurable, monitorable, evaluable, evaluatable outcome, just in the way that enrollment was. But it does require a big shift, because what the donor agencies have been successful at doing, and what in some sense is the easiest way to sell development as an agenda to taxpayers, to sell a bureaucratic organizational approach, is to reduce it to narrow kind of outcome measures like enrollment, uh, which you know works well, but that just isn't the big problem that the world faces anymore. I mean, just you know, you cannot sell to in, to most countries in the world that their education agenda remains expansion of access. It's done. It's over because we succeeded. So to some extent, I think the development agencies can say, because we have succeeded, we need to move to the next stage. And when we move to the next stage, we'll provide monitoring and evaluation around these new higher bar, broader goals, and we'll provide it, you know, evidence on our impact. Um, in that new framework, it will be different, but I don't think we need to move away from monitoring and evaluation in order to move to a broader and more fully reflective of the current situation set of outcome measures.